and pulling out the plug it's exactly how it worked this uh it's just spinning i got i had to use two hands to get it broken at first but now that it's free just to show you that it just spins right out Here comes the water because there is going to be some water built up underneath the pool and that's going to flow into the pool so I'm going to have to drain that out too. There it goes. Okay, so far I've drained the pool and then I power washed it. I didn't use any chemicals, any soaps or anything, just a plain old power washer. And uh, now I'm draining the very bottom circle, get that out. What I had to do was tape the float up on the thing because there wasn't enough water to keep it running. And I didn't want to sit there and hold it up for this because there's, there's still enough water in there to take another 20 minutes to empty it. So once this water's all drained, now you can see the chips, I'm, the repairs I'm gonna have to make where it was loose. I scraped up the, the parts that were bad. I also picked out tile yesterday. I'm gonna replace all the tile. And uh, that's it. As soon as this is drained, I'm gonna power wash it and then I'll get back to you. After power washing, I'm gonna acid wash. And I also bought all new stuff for the light. I bought a new LED light bulb, new ring, chrome ring. Uh, everything I need to do that new gaskets so I'll update you in a little bit okay I just got done doing all the loose spots so this is what I'm working with a lot so pool's looking pretty rough right about now so now I'm going to acid wash it and then rinse it down with the TSP okay I wanted to show you some of the loose uh, gunite that comes up or whatever it's called you can see these big spots that come up and uh, well this is how they start I walked over and I saw just a little crack and just it moves that easily you can basically just get a screwdriver in there and, and knock it out so the way to find them is using I use a little, a little hammer here how solid that is and then you can hear a hollow. That's how you know where it is. See solid, solid over there, hollow over here. So that means we can keep going down. See, and it comes up pretty easy. But I just wanted to give you, show you how I'm doing that. I also noticed I got one spot over here forming too. You can hear that, hear the difference. You can almost just break it and then start your hole. But hey, it's going to be a pretty big one. But we got to get them fixed or the pool will just fall apart again. So we got to fix all these spots. Okay, just wanted to bring you guys up to speed. We, um, to take off the top tiles, I use this chisel, the air chisel. Just put the chisel right on the top of the tile, just hit it one time, and they would pop right off. And uh, whatever ones didn't pop right off that easy, you, you could just clean it up with the chisel. But I got that, all the top tiles off. Now I'm working on the bottom tiles, and uh, basically, what you have to do, or at least what I'm doing, is I'm using an angle grinder with a concrete cutoff blade, a concrete saw blade, and I'm, I'm creating a line right under all the tiles. And that way it won't chip out this while I'm using the same air hammer or air chisel to take out them tiles and you can see here I didn't do the line and how it started to take out a little bit underneath where over here I did do the line and you can 
see it's a nice clean cut. So that's the, what I'm gonna do. Okay, so I got the uh, all the tile off of the pole, the coping tile and the bottom tile. So what I'm gonna do now is I gotta run around to Home Depot because I have some cracks in the bottom. I know you're supposed to have the, the crack at the top up here. That's uh, that's where the slab of the top of the pool meets the shell of the pool. But I'm having water coming out at the bottoms in some areas. So I'm gonna go pick up some hydraulic cement and I'm just gonna fill in all these bottom gaps just in case it just feels porous and I'm not gonna take a chance. So I'm gonna fill all that in. You can see just little tiny holes that I don't know if they're anything or not, so. But that's it. I got the pole pretty much ready for the next step. Okay, just a quick update. I'm in the middle of uh, putting in the brown coat where the tiles go just to show you real quick because I didn't like the all these holes I showed you earlier but this is what it looks like when it's ready for tile <clears throat> this is where I'm up to and you can see them big nasty gaps so what I'm using is hydraulic cement it's called cement all they do sell it right at Home Depot it's like 24 bucks a bag for 55 pounds so that's where I'm at after I'm done this, then it's time to tile. I just finished doing the brown coat for the tiles. And there's just one procedure I wanted to mention. When you mix this stuff, it's uh, it dries, I mean, so fast. You got 15 minutes to work with it, and then it's a rock. So I was usually, I was using this thing to... Uh, to mix my batches in and uh, even then I was only filling it halfway up so this whole thing probably took me about 10 to 12 batches but the very first bucket I made I used this two and a half gallon bucket and it just got so rock hard inside it was a lot of wasted so that's why I moved to the smaller bucket and then what you do is once you spread it on there I used the uh, four inch putty knife spread it on then I uh, use a trout or a rubber float I would dampen it and then smooth it out and then use a sponge to clean the uh, the pool underneath of it and then hose it down real good I got better at it as you can tell this side compared to what I did the first day uh, you live and learn so I'm gonna have to clean that up I use a grinder I mean it's gonna get recoated anyway so it's not a real big deal but I'm gonna clean it up and get it better than that but you can see the difference so just want to say that okay I'm trying to fix the cap here from the tile I'm just going to show you real quick there's how to do this I'm using cementol it's rapid set so you only have like 15 minutes to work with it so I just mixed it and I'm going to prepare this you got to use this wet the surface that you're putting it on has to be wet so we're going to spray this down real fast. I'll just do up to there for now. And then basically I already got the mix in the trail. I just put the trail right underneath where I'm working. Just go there and just go right up and around. Usually I'll do about six feet to eight feet and then come back and hit it with the with the uh, rubber float and that'll make it a little smoother. It's getting a little wet from this. So I like it to set up a little bit before I float it. But uh, just to show you basically after that's done, then I would do the top, make a line on the bottom. But this is still too goopy. Normally I would wait. 
but and then I just float it till it's nice and smooth which would bring me to that and then later what I'll do is I'll go over it with the, the sander with a heavy grit and it'll bring it smooth which is what I did over there already That's okay I just got done uh, doing the repairs on the bottom of the pool I used the cider treat repair stuff um, I already this morning I painted the pool nose I primed it first I used a concrete primer and I used two coats of the uh, concrete slash driveway or patio driveway one part epoxy paint so that's where I'm at now um, tomorrow I'm gonna try to grout once I grout I'm using a light gray uh, then the next day or the day after I'll be ready to start putting the plaster on the swimming pool Okay, we're starting the first coat of the cider crete. Me and my helper Preston got about a third of the pool done, maybe a quarter. And so far we're on our third kit. We're just starting our third kit. So basically what you see is two kits. So I was hoping to do this pool first coat in five. Probably gonna be six, we'll see. But that's where we are. Okay, we uh, did the second coat yesterday of the plaster and uh, I'm removing I just removed the tape off of the tile and I if I didn't mention it already just want to say you gotta get the red stucco tape not the blue painters tape this red stucco tape comes off fantastic it literally took me 20 minutes to pull all the tape off of the whole pool and now I just have the uh, markers to do I just did five of the mark or four of the markers so I still got to dig out the ones that are in there, but you see how you can see them basically see through the to where they are and they pull right out. It's really easy to do. So this is the uh, pull two levels in and I'll get back to you. Okay, just wanted to give you a look at what it looks like full. Uh, it's kind of bright. It almost looks like a Kool-Aid. But uh, I can I can get with it. It looks nice. So what I'm working on today is I'm power washing the deck, and then uh, I'm going to make the repairs over the holes. I'm going to texture it where all the cracks are, and then paint it. So but that's what the pool looks like. I replaced all the nozzles coming out. Five pack on Amazon for what ten or eleven bucks. Uh, I put a new weird door on the thing on the uh, skimmer as well as the inside of the skimmer the little UFO thing that regulates how much comes from the bottom drain and how much comes from the skimmer and I that works perfect now where before I never had any of that so it only worked from the skimmer and it didn't suck it in it was it was terrible but I didn't know so I'm learning as I go